For what purpose does the gentleman from Pennsylvania seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute and revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to recognize Ennis Cancer Freedom. Since being drafted third overall in the 2011 NBA draft, uh, Mr. Freedom, a newly minted American citizen, has made our country incredibly proud. Growing up in Turkey, Ennis says he did not know what freedom was until he moved to the United States. And since then, he has used his platform to speak out against human rights atrocities in China, Turkey, and beyond. Ennis uses his voice for the people around the world who are voiceless. And because of his outspoken criticism of Turkey's authoritarian regime and inhumane treatment of political prisoners, the Turkish government revoked Ennis's passport and issued multiple warrants for his arrest, leaving him stateless for many years. And in China, Broadcasts of Ennis' basketball games were banned after he criticized the Chinese Communist Party's repressive regime and their human rights abuses against the Uyghurs and Tibetans. Since facing backlash, Ennis has made it his life's mission to push the boundaries of what's possible on and off the court. He understands and recognizes using his voice and the importance of it. After waiting six long years, Mr. Speaker, last week Ennis finally became a U.S. citizen and at a citizenship ceremony, he recited the oath using his newly minted last name, Freedom. And I cannot think of a more appropriate new last name for Ennis, as he embodies all that freedom means. And by changing his last name, Ennis can now carry that word with him wherever he goes. Mr. Speaker, I salute the brave work of Ennis Cantor Freedom. In a time when others remain silent, he has spoken up. I congratulate Ennis on his citizenship, and this United States Congress and all of us welcome him to our American family. Mr. Speaker, I yield back.